Good evening and welcome back to the Milwaukee Pipeline, episode three. So many of you are fired up about the new Milwaukee products in the last episode. I mean, who would have thought lasers would cause such a stir? And pack out fever has hit. With drawers, a cart, and racking on the way, this system isn't slowing down anytime soon. Tonight, there's a little bit of something for all of you. Let's start with a tool that everyone has used at one time or another. Nearly 70 years ago, Milwaukee invented the first ever reciprocating saw, the legendary Sawzall. And then we made things even more exciting when we cut the cord and introduced the first cordless Sawzall Recip saw. It was a hit. And sure, there's been a lot of companies who've introduced their own Recip saws over the years, but there's only been one that's dominated the industry, and that's been the Sawzall. I had some time to get out on the job with Steve Zbrojek a couple weeks ago to see it in action. This is our pipeline behind the products with the brand new M18 Fuel Sawzall. Steve, and thank you very much. I am excited to be here. We are on site. We're talking about some incredible tools. Thank you very much for the time. Thanks, Babakar. We're really excited to introduce the next generation of the M18 Fuel Sawzall. So why a next generation, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why did we put efforts into redesigning this upgrade? While this is the second generation of this saw, it's really about our approach to the Sawzall line. We invented the reciprocating saw category and we view ourselves as the innovation leaders for reciprocating saws. With that position, you can never stop listening to the end users in the trades. We knew it was time to innovate, and we knew it was time to continue to push the boundaries of performance, durability, and ergonomics. So people have gotten used to the feel of the M18 fuel Sawzall. As they bumped up to the second generation, what are they noticing? Well, the first thing they notice is that it's fast. The upgraded tech in these allows them to be the fastest cutting Sawzall in their class. Second, they're lightweight. We were able to shave out over a half pound compared to the first generation while still improving the performance. But the biggest thing we knew we had to focus on was durability. Professionals use these on the job site day in and day out, so we wanted to engineer the most durable Sawzall yet. We started with best in industry technology from our batteries, motors, and electronics, built that around an improved slider crank mechanism. In addition to that, added a wear resistant blade change, anti-corrosion blade clamp, and metal reinforced battery rails. Now durability is something we focus on with every tool we make. Why was this such a focus with this second generation Sawzall? As you know, these are used in the toughest conditions on a job site, and they need to be able to stand up to task in order to keep users productive. Take for example, plumbers. They're cutting a wide variety of materials, but sometimes they're cutting wet pipes. We all know that wet plus metal can equal corrosion. One of the things we did was we added stainless steel components to the blade clamp to help prevent that corrosion and extend the functionality of that piece over life. Beautiful. Well, hey, between the increases of what we did with the performance and the durability, I cannot wait to see what people say about it. So let's talk to some pros, get their perspective. Absolutely. My first impressions of the M18 Fuel Sawzall were that it was a very quick cut, one of the fastest I've seen. My initial impression of the M18 Sawzall was a big step up from the previous model, faster cuts and a better production out of it. Cutting through the bigger pipe, I definitely noticed the increase of cutting speed. Being able to cut through the pipe and move on to another task definitely saves a lot of time throughout the day. It feels lighter, a lot lighter than other ones and it cuts faster. I noticed that the blade clamp is much more durable but doesn't seize up and it unlocks and locks the does all blades immediately. The ergonomics of the tool has allowed us to do more cuts, uh, less fatigue, and more productivity. It performed amazing. Well, Stephen, I noticed that there is also an additional one key version that's going to be available. Is that right? Yes, we are launching a second generation of the one key version as well. And in addition to all those improvements we just talked about with the M18 Fuel Sawzall, it's gonna have security, tracking, and tool customization. But it's all gonna be in a much cleaner, more simple to use app format, which means these things can be set up and out to site much faster than the previous generation. Now one of the features that I really wanna highlight on this one is called Cut Break. 
Now, cut break can automatically stop the blade at the end of the cut in most applications, even if the trigger's still engaged. What that's going to do is it's going to prevent cutting or damaging any sensitive materials beyond the cut. So when can our pros actually get their hands on these tools? So the M18 Fuel Sawzall is going to be available in November of 2020, and the version with one key is going to be available in January of 2021. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Stephen. I really appreciate the time, the walkthrough. Really looking forward to getting our hands on these. Thanks. My pleasure. One Key is the first digital platform for tools and equipment. Built on the principles of customize, track, and manage, One Key combines tool and software technology, offering a modern approach to tool management. One Key offers tool customization that gives you control to maximize runtime, power, and cut down on expensive bits and blades. You can stick with factory presets or customize specific setups for repetitive applications to meet the needs of the job at hand. Keeping track of all this inventory can be difficult, and if you're losing tools, you're losing money. Tool tracking solves this problem for OneKey enabled tools by updating locations automatically. Managing inventory is one of the most common frustrations across job sites today. With OneKey, it's never been easier. The Inventory Management Portal is a fast, easy way to access just about anything you need to know about a tool. Look up purchase information, tool status, tool performance reports, or see when the tool is due for maintenance. OneKey is a technology platform that provides unmatched detail of and access to your tools and equipment all from a central location. Customize, track, and manage with one key. Now, of course, no recip saw is complete without the right Sawzall blade. Earlier this year, we made some big additions to our lineup of carbide teeth Sawzall blades, allowing you to cut longer, cut more, and cut faster. But don't just take my word for it, here's more. The Wrecker with Carbide Teeth is our newest carbide teeth blade for demolition and remodeling. Designed with an optimized carbide grade, it is built to last through all the materials you will face when doing demo jobs. Whether you are up against wood, metal, plastic, cement board, or roofing material, these blades will not only do the job faster, but will stand up to the task with extreme durability. Let's hear from some pros that have been working with the new blades. I use the carbide record blade to uh, remove some LVLs and some metal strapping and nails. And the carbide record blade did a really good job on the initial plunge cuts. Just getting started was really easy and smooth. And then going through metal and stuff like that, it never felt like it slowed down or anything. It just kept zipping through just like it was going through wood. We use the record with carbide teeth to demo out a roof, to cut open some plaster, I've used it to cut through door jams. I've used it for uh, a variety of different tasks. Nice, clean, smooth cuts, and it lasts forever compared to some other blades that I've used, especially in a roof cutting situation. It just kept cutting and cutting and cutting when other blades would not last as long. I would go to the carbon record blade for just a do-it-everything blade. You don't have to worry about what you're gonna be cutting. You can just grab it, throw it in your Sawzall, and use it on anything all day long. The Carbide Wrecker is now available at a distributor near you, but we aren't stopping there. Up next, I'd like to introduce to you the new Torch with Nitrous Carbide. With a unique, new-to-world carbide blend, this blade has over three times the life of standard carbide teeth blades in cast iron, while also delivering the fastest cuts in thick metal. For those that have been using the blade since it was available a few months ago, we have heard countless stories of how these blades have been saving you time and money, lessening workday fatigue, and providing the longest metal cutting blade life on the market. For those of you that haven't got your hands on one yet, we want you to hear from a couple of pros that got to try the blade for the first time to see their reaction. We use the nitrous carbide blade for cutting four inch cast iron drain pipe. It bit into the pipe a lot faster than any other blade that I've used before, and it cut through really smooth and clean. 
With the nitrous carbide blade, being able to make multiple cuts with one blade makes us way more efficient. Obviously saves money having to buy less blades. The nitrous carbide blade bites in right away. I noticed in the first two seconds how fast it cut in to get that initial cut going, and even through the rest of the cut, it was way faster. Sometimes there's areas where we can't get a snapper into, and being able to use the nitrous carbide blade on a Sawzall, we can get into those tight areas, and being able to make the cut faster really reduces down on the fatigue being crouched down. I would use the nitrous carbide blade because of the versatility of the different spots that I can get it into. When I go to cut four inch cast iron pipe in the future, I'll definitely use the nitrous carbide blade due to its quickness and its speed and longevity of the blade. Finally, to demonstrate the unmatched power of our thick metal blade, let's see a head-to-head -head demo against a competitive carbide teeth blade. The torch with nitrous carbide blade bites into the material faster and has increased cutting speed throughout the entire cut versus the competition. We strive to be on the forefront of innovation and our carbide T sawzall blades are no different. We also now offer a 12 inch blade in addition to the 6 inch and 9 inch blades launched earlier this year. With the addition of three Carbide T Sawzall Blade product lines launched in 2020, we are now able to offer you the best carbide blade for every application. Carbide, it delivers longer life for accessories as you just saw with those new Sawzall Blades. We continue to invest in new methods that allow us to not only apply the benefits of carbide to blades, but also to other accessories in some of the most demanding applications. We now offer a full lineup of masonry and concrete solutions with increased durability. Here's more about some of our newest drill bits and chisels that are just starting to hit your job sites. Today, I'm excited to share with you our newest innovations to our masonry and concrete accessories. First up, all new Shockwave Carbide Hammer Drill Bits, which deliver you up to five times longer life in concrete over standard masonry drill bits. We also have all new Shockwave Multi-Material Drill Bits that offer you the most flexibility on the job, with the capability to tackle materials such as concrete, brick, block, metal, tile, wood, PVC, and more. Now, what I'm most excited to share with all of you today is our new upgrades to our SDS Plus and Max MX4 four cutter drill bits. These bits are made with solid head carbide, which provides you with dramatically longer bit life and durability in rebar, allowing you to complete more holes on the job. There's no better way to show you how our MX4 bits deliver more durability in rebar than with a head-to-head -head demo. We start by heating up the carbide tips to extreme temperatures, simulating how hot the bits get when you drill multiple holes into rebar. Then we test the bits in concrete embedded with rebar. As you can see, our durable carbide bond withstands the heat better than the competition, providing you with longer life and ultimate durability in rebar. With the widest range of solid head carbide SDS Plus drill bits on the market, you can tackle any rebar drilling application with confidence. I hope you're as excited about these bits as I am. I'm gonna pass it over to Matt, who's gonna tell you about our new upgraded line of sledge self-sharpening chisels. Thanks, Alicia. Whether you're a general contractor cleaning up concrete overpour or a demolition company breaking up concrete slabs, our sledge chisels maintain their edges, extending the life and performance of your bits. Sledge chisels stay sharper longer, helping you get more done on the job. These chisels are designed with reinforced edges to reduce wear, while the longer tips allow our bits to last longer in concrete demolition. We conducted a 25-hour durability test to show you how our bits outlast the competition. As you can see, the competitive chisels are completely worn down, and most of them are useless after 25 hours of use. 
whereas our sledge chisel has the most life left. These chisels are available in a wide range of tip types in both SDS Plus and Max, allowing you to tackle any project that gets thrown your way. Here at Milwaukee, we are proud to offer you a complete range of best-in-class masonry and concrete solutions. All of these new products are available now to help you complete the toughest of applications on any job site. Time and time again, we have shown you that by pushing the levels of cordless technology, we can get more out of our M18 system, making the inconceivable a reality. Next up, something I doubt you ever expected to see on an 18 volt system. But of course, Milwaukee is doing it. The first ever M18 Fuels 14 inch abrasive chop saw. Eric Onsager joins us now for a trade talk about this incredible feat in cordless technology. I'm excited to be on site today talking with Kevin about Milwaukee's new M18 Fuel 14 inch abrasive chop saw. So Kevin, you want to get us started by telling us a bit about what you do, how long you've been in the industry? Yeah, so I'm a commercial contractor and I've been doing it for about 15 years. Awesome. All right, so let's jump into this tool. Would you mind telling me a little bit about what your impressions were about the power and performance of this tool? This saw has been able to cut anything that my corded saw has been able to. For 18 gauge studs, which are a little bit heavier duty, sure. we've been able to cut about 30 to 35. That's awesome. And how does the speed of cut compare to your corded? They're right on par for each other. So whatever my quarter one can do, this saw can do just as well. And now what about the versatility of this tool? This tool we can take anywhere. In some of our hotels or any of our industrial applications, we've been able to take them from one end to the building to the other, cut studs, and then not have to intrude on anybody with any type of quartz. Now every time we come out with a new solution, users always ask, what's the runtime? So you talk a little bit about uh, what you've experienced with the runtime in this tool and what battery pack you use? Yeah, so we've always been using the 12.0 and then for our 20 to 25 gauge, we cut them in bundles and we've been able to get about 200 studs per battery pack. And how much of a day's work is that? That's about four hours worth of cuts for us. So you about know. half a day yes. on 112.0. Yep. That's great to hear. Are there any other features on this saw that uh, you found beneficial as you've been using it? Yeah, one of the things that I really like is the keyless chuck. Over time, the Allen key gets lost or somebody rounds out the bolt that actually goes through. So having a keyless chuck for us has been beneficial to just take it off and pop on a blade. That's awesome. I'm glad that feature really hit home with you. Any thoughts on the rapid stop brake and how that might have changed how you use this saw? Yeah, to see it actually in this saw has been great for us. Just another safety feature that we like, aside from being cordless, so we're not having to drive around cords. That's great. So we've added a new feature on this saw, which is our indicator light. How has that helped you and your guys? Yeah, the indicator light lets us know that, you know, we're going, we're bogging down the motor and ultimately the battery. So over time, you know, you, you kind of learn to work with the saw as you're mm. going through your cuts. That's great. Thanks, Kevin, for agreeing to talk with us today about this saw and give us your thoughts and feedback on it. I've really appreciated your time today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, let's get into another new solution that was announced recently, the M18 Top-Off Power Supply. Some familiar faces actually got to try it out already. This is a Milwaukee moment with our friends at Belts and Boxes. Hey there, Power Tool fans, I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and today we have a very special guest. This is Andrew, Director of Product Management for Batteries, Chargers, and Portable Power at Milwaukee. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. Thanks for having me. So, Andrew, we all watched the first two episodes of Pipeline, and like everybody else, we have yet to see the one Milwaukee tool we've all been waiting for. The M18 Packout Job Site Karaoke Machine! Yes, please. So, we're kind of assuming that's why you're here. That would be cool, but no. Actually, I have something much cooler. This is the all new Milwaukee. Cube? No. It's the. Smoke detector. Music box. Chipmunk radio. Chipmunk, that one. That's the one. It's the M18 top off, 175 watt power, power supply. Power supply, 175. I, I knew. I knew it. Right. And I put a few in the pack out we sent you. Awesome. Does that mean we can just snap this thing onto an M18 battery? <laughs> We've got a couple. And it turns into a portable power supply. If you look at the top, you'll see there are three distinct ports a USB A, a USB C, and a standard 120 volt outlet. The top off turns any M18 battery 
into a portable power supply for recharging or powering your job site devices. All right, so you're saying I can just click on the CP 2.0? And I can clip on this 12 amp hour battery. <laughs> It'll actually work on any M18 battery, but obviously the bigger the amp hours, the more charging or powering it's gonna do. So I can just plug my phone into the USB port and sweet M18 charging power. Yep, and that USB port is 2.4 amps, so it's gonna charge very quickly. Yeah, but what about this USB-C? That's actually a USB-C PD, or power delivery port. Most personal electronics already are equipped with the ability to accept faster charging technology. You'll be able to charge your smart technology up to 75% faster than the conventional wall chargers that are often kitted with those products. This means you're gonna be able to charge a smartphone from zero to 50% in around 30 minutes. You simply purchase a USB-C charging cord that's compatible with your devices, and you can experience faster charging. I'll put a few in the pack out for you. Oh, I see them. Milwaukee Tool is the first to incorporate USB-C PD charging technology on a power tool battery platform. USB-C PD gets end users back to work faster and minimizes downtime waiting for devices to charge. This is great. Okay, so with this 12 amp hour battery, how many times will it charge my tablet? Almost five full charges. Dang. What about my iPhone? About 12 times. You can even charge some laptops several times over. All right, but let's talk about this 120 volt outlet. Now, I can't just plug in all my corded tools and turn them into M18s, right? If you want to do that or power higher wattage items like appliances, you can use our MX Fuel carry-on power supply. The top off is optimized for personal devices on and off the job site. Like this job site fan? Exactly. Or we can plug in my TV and we can not watch Gilmore Girls. Or job site stuff. Or, or job site yeah. videos. I really thought you guys would jump in on that with me. You could use it to power lighting in your job site trailer, power an inflator, all while charging your mobile devices. Okay, but we know that when you plug in more devices, the power splits up, right? Then everything charges way slower. In most devices, that's true, but not ours. Unlike most multi-port power supplies, every port on the M18 top-off maintains full power. So you can run that fan while charging your phone and a laptop at full speed. Now we recommend plugging a single device into each respective port for the best experience. I need something to plug in the switch. I've got another top oh, off. Thank and you. And then I'm gonna use this laptop to look up more low wattage devices. Oh, hey, we need some music. Ooh, I've got an echo. Here. Yeah, I guess you can plug all that in. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What's this thing? Oh, yeah. That's a rafter hook. That way you can hang it on the edge of a material cart, up on a lift, or on dimensional lumber, leaving you with more room for the devices that you're gonna need to power. Hey, Alexa, play the coolest song ever. Playing Power Tool Week in Review by Belts and Boxes. So that's the top off. It'll be available in November at a distributor near you. What do you mean November? Yeah, it feels an awful lot like we already have them. Well, we're gonna need those demos back, but you can purchase one in November. Well, that's all we have today. I wanna thank Andrew and Milwaukee for joining us here at Belts and Boxes and giving each of us a Milwaukee M18 top off. Permanently. That's right. Back to you, Babacar. Thank you, team. I bet everyone watching is thinking of all of the possible uses for that new top off. Make sure you check out Belts and Boxes on YouTube. If you have paid attention over the last couple years, you know Milwaukee is all in with power utility. The M18 system offers more unique solutions for this industry than any other cordless platform. From hydraulics, to drilling and fastening, to lighting and heck everything in between, M18 is the platform that every utility, municipality, co-op and contractor can standardize on. Up next, you're going to witness a beast of a new M18 crimper. But we're not just stopping at power tools, we're also going to share a hands-on experience with some of our newest hand tools, storage and accessories. Today I'm excited to introduce you to the M18 ForceLogic 6-ton utility crimping family. Each tool in our crimping family is thoughtfully designed to meet the unique challenges you encounter every single day. The individual crimpers are optimized for use in specific orientations, giving you the choice of tool that best matches your needs while maintaining compatibility with eight different crimping and cutting jaws. Each crimper leverages best-in-class technology that you expect from all of our cordless tools. So let's get into our latest new product launch and newest member of the family, the M18 ForceLogic 6-ton Linear Utility Crimper. Like all ForceLogic products, this crimper has been designed from the ground up to deliver the fastest, most versatile way to crimp. But instead of hearing it from me, let's hear it from some linemen themselves. 
The six ton crimper would pretty much work everywhere, overhead, underground. There's not a spot that they can say that it won't get into. The size and the weight of the six ton linear press are, are great, especially getting into those small awkward areas in underground cabinets or in a congested overhead environment. At the end of the day, your, your shoulders take a beating. It's kind of nice not to have something super heavy that's light and reliable and quick. The speed of the crimp really helps me get more work done in a day. Not only is it a fast crimp, but it's a quality crimp. The linear crimper being well balanced, it helps me when I'm reaching out, I can get it lined up and not have to worry about being in an awkward position. The trigger mechanism is large enough so that you can get in there with your rubber glove hand. That's a big advantage. It allows you to comfortably hold the tool with your PPE on and make the crimps you want to make. As you just heard, the six ton linear crimper truly delivers the fastest, most versatile way to crimp. But there are two other members of the family as well. Earlier this year, we launched the six ton pistol utility crimper that delivers up to 46% reduced muscle effort for those connections that need to be made chest height or higher. And the last member of the family was the first member of the family, the six ton utility crimper, coming in at almost five inches shorter than the nearest competitor, giving linemen the easiest way to crimp in tight spaces. Milwaukee's commitment and continued investment in providing safer, easier, and more reliable solutions for the power utility industry remains as strong as ever. The addition of the six ton linear utility crimper continues to show that M18 is the battery platform of choice and the six ton crimping family delivers the complete power utility distribution solution. Today, Adam and I are excited to be at a training center with Training Center Operations Manager Pat and his team to share with you our new Lyman solutions for accessories, hand tools, and storage. We'll catch up with Adam in a minute, but I'm going to get us started with our new fiberglass drill bits. Lyman are now seeing more fiberglass and composite poles take the place of traditionally wood poles. I'm here with Pat today, who's going to be demoing our new fiberglass drill bit. But before we do that, I'm going to ask him a few questions. Pat, based on your experience, what's it like drilling in fiberglass and what do you use? Well, the only thing we had back in the day was wooden bits. We went through a lot of bits and you just prayed that you could get it through one because it was usually one and done and you'd ruin the bit. We'd have up to 15 to 20 holes we had to drill and with only getting through one, you went through a lot of bits. I'd love for you to try our fiberglass drill bit and compare experiences for us. I'd love to. Oh, wow. That <laughs> yeah. went through that in seconds. Yeah, and how's the tip look? Oh, that looks fantastic. That was amazing. So we're seeing with our carbide design that we deliver over 400 holes. How do you see this helping you and your crew? We'll be able to get a lot more done. The production will go up. That is going to be awesome for us. And that's what our, our goal is. We want to create products that are going to make you more efficient and safer on the job site. Our new fiberglass drill bits are going to be launching in 2021 and we'll have a 12 inch length for cross arms and a 22 inch length for fiberglass poles. They'll have a laser etch for easy identification and a 7 16 hex shank for a quick connect to impact wrenches. We're actually going to pass this off to Adam, who's going to talk to you about our new solutions for our hand tools and our storage. Wrenches are one of your most common utility hand tools. Based on your feedback on our current solution, I'm excited to announce our new high leverage and 5-in-1 ratcheting wrenches, now with a milled strike face. Knowing these tools need to be tough, we've got the most durable ratchet, a durable forged steel design, and then that built-in hammer. You're gonna see a square socket for those common square hardware, and then on the five-in-one, we've got 9 16 and three quarters built in. Knowing that you're often working with thick gloves, we've got large directional switches for that easy directional change. And knowing that these tools are often used as a hammer, we've got that built-in strike face, now with a milled version, so you no longer need to worry about carrying a separate hammer as you're climbing. You've got that tool all built into one solution. Now let's talk bolt cutters. When out doing research, we found that when you're working in common utility environments, there's often obstacles or tight spaces making current cutting solutions difficult to use. Here's the answer to that. Our new fiberglass bolt cutters with pivot move rotating handles. They're gonna give you the best access, making for easier cuts in those tight situations. They have thousand volt UL classified handles and built-in tether ready lanyard holes 
Knowing that cutting situations are often difficult, we've got forged steel blades and bolt lock technology so that the blades won't loosen, giving you that longer life. Last but not least, the slim ergonomic handles are going to make for easy storage in a tool apron. Speaking of storage, let's cover our new storage solutions. First is our compact aerial tool apron. As we were out doing research, we understood that there was frustrations with staying organized and productive in single buckets. This compact aerial tool apron is going to feature 18 custom pockets, so you're going to have room for all of your common hand tools and accessories. It's also going to feature a built-in auger bit holder that won't burn through, perfect for those new fiberglass drill bits. It's a vinyl construction, so you've got that lasting durability day in and day out. You can easily hang it from your bucket with our new 2-inch or 3-inch bucket hooks. Last but not least on our new storage solutions is our canvas utility bucket. It's going to feature some of the same things you know and love about our current solution, like the swiveling large carabiner. Rated for up to 75 pounds, it's going to feature a durable impact resistant base. It's going to have the durability you need day in and day out on the job. Now that's it for our new hand tools and storage solutions. It's one thing to hear it from me, but let's talk to some users who've been trying them out and see what they think. The bolt cutters, I think, uh, maintain your clearances a little bit better. The ergonomics has been huge. When you can readjust them, that's a big advantage for alignment. The 1,000 volt UL classification uh, means a lot. That extra little bit of safety never hurt. We got more tools now. This apron will help us stay organized. The 18 custom pockets, just that much more room for more tools. The durability seems like it's going to last. You had a, a spot for everything, and hopefully nothing ends up on the bottom of the bucket. When we open one of our line trucks up, and you see nothing but a sea of red, Milwaukee is way ahead of everyone else. Pat, thanks to you and your guys for having us here all day. We really appreciate your time and the awesome feedback. Well, thanks for having us. Let's keep on rolling. If you're often faced with having to make overhead cuts or cut into tight spaces, this next one's for you. We already offer you the largest lineup of bandsaws in the industry. And now we're adding yet another to our impressive offering, the new M12 Fuel Bandsaw. And yes, this is the one you have all been asking for on social media, the perfect blend of size and performance. I'm very excited to introduce our brand new M12 Fuel Compact Bandsaw. This bandsaw offers a compact, lightweight, and fast cutting solution with a two and a half inch cut capacity. This bandsaw utilizes our fuel technology to provide the cut speed you need to get through the job. We'll now show this in action, cutting against one of our 20 volt competitors through Unistrut. As you can see, our tool is easily able to outperform even higher voltage competition, making it the fastest cutting compact bandsaw within the two and a half inch cut capacity space. You've also told us that having a lightweight tool to reduce fatigue is important. Not only is this the lightest compact bandsaw weighing only six pounds, it's over two pounds lighter than the competition. This allows for easier, more comfortable overhead cuts and less fatigue overall. We've increased the cut capacity versus our existing M12 bandsaw, allowing you to cut up to two inch material, but we've still included our integrated blade covers to allow for safe one-handed cutting, bridging the gap between portability and capability. This saw also has a breadth of features designed around you. An integrated rafter hook allows for easy storage in between cuts. To protect against drops and debris, we've included our job site armor technology to enhance the tool's durability. This saw is also compatible with our compact bandsaw pipe reamer attachment, which easily twists onto the back pulley and allows you to cut and ream with the same tool. A variable speed trigger and LED work light allow for maximum control and visibility while cutting. We are able to get this saw into some of the hands of the electricians on site today. Let's see what they have to say. The M12 Fuel Compact Bandsaw has plenty of power. The capability is more than I expected. The size of the cut as well as how long it lasts and the material that it can cut. It was lightweight, it was easy to use with one hand, and it made nice clean cuts. It's nice because you don't need to switch out from the smaller bandsaw to a larger bandsaw when you're cutting deeper strut or a larger conduit, you just have it all in one. It being lighter, it's easier to work with up in the ceiling and it's more compact. 
I don't think we're sacrificing any power for that small size. I mean, battery really runs it well. It's faster, everything. It cuts really well for how compact it really is. Our seven-in-one high leverage combination pliers features seven core functions for electrical installation. The high leverage handles deliver easier cutting. The wide jaw pliers make grabbing and twisting wire easy, while the crimper provides added functionality when working with both insulated and non-insulated terminals. The wire stripper and loop maker allow for quick wire prep. The built-in reamer can be used on half inch through one inch conduit, while the bolt cutter cuts number six and number eight bolts. The Milwaukee seven in one high leverage combination pliers provide maximum productivity for electrical installations. Over the past seven years, we've seen an exponential uptick in the adoption of press technology, and there's some obvious reasons and maybe not so obvious reasons for that trend. Today, joining us will be Alec, product manager over Milwaukee Press Tools, Ron, a foreman, and Dennis, a crib manager from Haberberger Mechanical. We're gonna shed some light on this change in the industry and talk about Milwaukee's newest solution that's gonna keep that trend going. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having us on. No problem, thank you. Alec, this question is for you. Tell us a little bit more about why this trend towards press is taking place. So with traditional methods of joining pipe, uh, installers are having to have an open flame out on the job site. And anytime they do that, they have to take additional safety precautions. So for one, that means making sure that they've applied for those hot work permits. And then also making sure that they have an additional resource on site for Firewatch. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Safety is important for us, but the quality and, and reliability of each individual press is important too in that sometimes we have to go back and redo our welds or our solder connections where with the press, typically we don't have to do that. And it goes into places that we can't get other things. I don't have to shut a building down or drain a building because I've got a leak and I can't solder it because the torch won't take it. This, I can put it on there and press it with the water flowing and close the valve when I'm done. And Ron, you've actually had a chance to use Milwaukee Press Tools for a few years before becoming a foreman. What do you have to say about it and how does it stack up to some of the other press tools you may have used? I've been using this system for about six or seven years and the inline style fits just about every place I need to be. And I've never had an issue getting into tight spaces with this device. So the time saving along with that is just phenomenal. Alec, Ron just said the M18 press tool has been huge for him and his guys on the job, but you said we had something new to talk about. So what is that? So later this year, we're gonna be rolling out the next generation of the M18 Force Logic press tool. And this time it's one key compatible. So that's really gonna elevate the benefits that this tool is going to provide. A one key compatible tool is going to take quality assurance, your fleet management, and also your tracking and security to the next level. Press data is gonna be recorded on the tool and sent wirelessly so that you can actually review it on a mobile device or a desktop. In the eyes of a contractor, so like Dennis or Ron, uh, they're gonna be able to generate customizable reports with that information and use it to assure uh, inspectors and other stakeholders that their tools are operating properly at all times. Ron, do you see the need for this kind of data transparency with inspectors or other key stakeholders? In my view, it helps me be able to be ahead of a problem by going back and looking at the quality of the press every time. If I have one that doesn't make, it shows me that. So Alec mentioned before that this also has fleet management and tool security. Dennis, I'm assuming that's pretty important to you as a crib manager, is that right? Yes, absolutely. Um, the beneficial thing to this tool would be the monitoring, summarizing of the, the tool's production um, with the one key system that's built into it uh, from here on out. It's going to help us, me on my end, you know, as a tool crib manager to uh, keep track of my tools. Say I got three tools on one site, um, two bar, you know, you can look at it and see if they're being used, you know, daily on a daily basis. 
um, or you know the third tool, maybe you just be used 25% or one or two or twice a day. That way I can move that tool to make it more efficient on other job sites. The other thing is, you know, with the geofence that's built into it, it can give me, you know, capability of giving my general foreman's access to getting into it and keeping track of the tools. Yeah, the capability of this machine to be able to A, track it and B, shut it down to where it is of no use to anyone else is important because that should deter people from taking stuff that doesn't belong to them, costing us thousands of dollars on a job. Alec, sounds like this new press tool packs a lot of new innovations. Yeah, we're very excited to get this tool out into the field and into the hands of the contractors so they can enjoy those added benefits of not only the reporting, but also the tracking and security. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. I want to thank my guests, Alec, Ron, and Dennis for their time and insight. And I really look forward to seeing this new M18 Force Logic press tool with one key soon. Thank you. If you've installed cold expansion PEX before, you might know that in 2011, we launched our first M12 Pro PEX expander, a go-to for many of you. This year, we're excited to announce that once again, we are partnering with Upanor to give this popular tool an M12 fuel makeover. Let's catch up with Parker Kessel, who's gonna share a little bit more about this new PEX solution. Expansion PEX has continued to grow in popularity in the US since we launched our M12 solution nine years ago. With years of reliability, we're dedicated to providing you the most consistent installations. Our auto-rotating mechanism has been and will continue to be at the foundation for even expansions of PEX that you have come to expect. Now every job requires numerous connections to be made, often in difficult to access areas. And with each connection, the tool needs to run multiple expansions. Using field technologies, we're delivering you the fastest 3 8 inch to 1 inch expansions all on the same footprint. To save even more time on larger sizes, our new heads will require less expansions to be made while still maintaining the expected time to insert a fitting. These two speed improvements will save you up to 35% of your time making connections. Let's have an OG plumber show you what I mean. Hey, my name is John Thompson. Some of you may know me as OG Plum Ghana on Instagram. Uh, I've been plumbing for about 13 years. I've been a licensed contractor for almost eight years. When I first started repiping houses, I would hand pump joints with the Upanor hand pump. Pump three times, twist the head. Pump three times, twist the head. Pump, pump, twist, twist. Oh, super annoying. So when they released the Milwaukee M12 PEX expander, I was probably one of the first people to grab it out of my shop at least. And uh, they all were laughing at me. Oh my gosh, you're gonna do that. You're a little baby, you need a tool to do that. And I'm like, no, I'm thinking smarter, not harder. You know, it's not that difficult to think ahead and try and do something new. So one of the biggest complaints about the PEX expander, well, it didn't get a complaint for quite a while, right? Because it was so revolutionary at first. Other people started coming out with these same things, but then they started noticing a difference. And then noticing the difference was, the biggest difference was on uh, one inch PEX. So when you would expand one inch PEX, it takes a lot of power and it slows down the machine. But with the new Rapid Seal M12 fuel, you literally have no lag. It's almost like you're expanding a half inch fitting with the regular PEX expander. So check out our demo. So with the new PEX expander, it's really gonna help me go beyond the service for my customers. Before completing an installation, a pressure test is required to confirm that a connection has sealed. But temperature can impact the time that you might need to wait for that testing process. That is why we're excited to announce our ProPEX expander heads with Rapid Seal, designed to reduce the time that it takes for a connection to seal. To demonstrate these head sealing performance as temperatures decrease, we ran a side-by-side -side connection in a cooler set to 45 degrees with these new Rapid Seal heads against the competitors. 
After waiting a short time for the pecs to come to grip, we're running 80 PSI air, commonly required for testing through each connection. With Milwaukee's connection sealing significantly faster, installers using these new Rapid Seal heads can pass their pressure test and get moving on to the next drop site, while installers using competitive expander heads will wait around for their connections to seal. You'll see the benefit of these new Rapid Seal expander heads alongside the M12 Fuel Propex expander launching at the end of the year. Now with having the fastest time to make 3 8 inch to 1 inch expansions and consistently fast seal times as temperatures decrease, we're proud to add this to the family of PEX expansion solutions that Milwaukee has to offer. What a whirlwind. We got through a ton of new products in this episode. No matter what trade you're in, I'm sure something caught your eye in this last hour. We just witnessed the one, the only, the legendary Sawzall Recip Saw getting a full tilt upgrade. An impressive lineup of carbide teeth blades, drills and chisels that really pound the pavement, a jaw dropping, first ever M18 14 inch abrasive chop saw. We got to see belts and boxes power every device they could find with that top off power supply. We journeyed into the power utility world by taking a peek at some incredible new solutions for working on the line. Electricians got a sneak peek at a set of 7-in-1 pliers, a new and heavily sought after addition to our bandsaw offering, a look into the next big solution in press technology, and a popular PEX tool that just got a major overhaul. It's kind of hard to believe that we still haven't shown you everything yet. Episode 4 of Milwaukee Pipeline is going to be here on November 12th. Join us for an exclusive look at our newest personal protective equipment and cordless job site lighting solutions. On behalf of Milwaukee Tool, I'm Bob Akar. Thank you for joining us for the Milwaukee Pipeline.